Hello world, this is Computer Heat, and once again I'm joined by my good buddy Kilrathi Soldier. Kilrathi Soldier, how are you today? Greetings, and um, yeah, I'm fresh now. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, we've uh, we've had our um, our caffeine and our food, and we're ready to cast this game. We got one between uh, two members of the Storm Tiger Clan. Um, you have God as an astronaut playing as the U.S. Uh, he also goes under the name Gus, so we'll probably be calling him Gus most of the time because God as an astronaut is a bit of a mouthful. And tell me who you are following, Kilrath the Soldier. Storm Tiger Fish. <laughs> Not the most like threatening name, but you know, uh, both of these guys are frequently in the top ten with like every faction, and so yeah, man, I'm ready to get this one going. It's been like yep, yep. A, more than a week since we cast a game because it's been so busy. But let's get this one going. In we'll real pause life, at so. five seconds, and we'll start it in three, two, one, go. Yes. Real life, man, doesn't wait for you. Nope. But, uh, yeah, so, um, God is an astronaut is a player from Germany, and Fish, I believe, is Korean. At least I was looking at his player card, and, uh, there's all sorts of Korean written all over it. And I'm, I'm guessing from their, you know, banter right now that this is a, uh, an auto match game. Or they just happen to come across each other, and not like a in intra clan, you know, match or whatever. Mm. But uh, tell me what's going on from from fish. Double grenadiers. Double grenadier start. Okay. Yeah. I know that the um, a lot of people have been feeling that the U.S. versus Wehrmacht matchup is uh, kind of one-sided in favor of uh, the U.S. just because. Uh, Riflemen can really push around the Germans quite early on, but uh, this is a map that's you know you can really lock it down pretty well with a couple of machine guns. As the Germans, you have your fuel right nearby your base, so that's easy to defend. And oh, I'm curious to see how these guys play it. Generally, I think if the Germans can hold out for a while, uh, then they can get themselves a nice good, good mid to late game going, and they can do quite well. But yeah. Oh yeah, indeed. And he's building an AMG now. Alright, we've got uh, two riflemen right away. And no no doctrine pick right off the bat from Gus, but he's got all of the uh, default commanders available to him. What about, uh, what about Fish? Uh, Fish, he's going for the Tiger. He's got Spearhead, Mechanized Assault Doctrine, and Elite Troops Doctrine, so he's uh -huh. all about the Tigers. I guess uh, the name Tiger, so <laughs> yeah, yeah Storm Tigers representing themselves. So maybe uh, he'll purposely get one abandoned and turn it over to uh, to Gus, so that we can have some tiger on tiger fights. <laughs> oh, this rifleman squad is standing just outside the capping circle. Uh, it's, yeah, nice little early engagement. Going I mean, come on, on that foot is inside the circle. Oh, okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh, rifle's about to take a bunch of casualties. Ouch. Uh, now, <laughs> meh. <laughs> meh. Oh, I almost didn't even see that. So I see that there's a third unit out from uh, from Fish. Can you tell me what that is? Uh, that was the uh, MG, but he's building a third uh, Grandia squad now. Uh huh. So I see he's coming up from a, a flank there. Yeah, the uh, pioneers can do a lot of damage to the riflemen if they get in on top of them. Uh, I think we're just gonna have a long-range dudes in cover fight going on here for a while. But um, with the addition of these of uh, the pioneers being able to come in close, and it looks like the riflemen are actually shooting at the house rather than the grenadiers in cover, that uh, um, Gus might end up losing this fight. There is another squad of riflemen coming in back up. Oh, and look at all those um, bullets hitting the the wall! It just looks like Fourth July kind of fire. <laughs> it does. Uh, it looks ping ping. It looks beautiful on my uh. <laughs> My monitor. So hopefully that'll come through in the uh, encoding. Ops can be a little weird sometimes. But the lieutenant is almost done uh, for Gus. And it looks like he's just going to back away. And he's starting to. He's actually taking up the right side of the map with his rear echelon squad as um, Fish moves in to take the left. He's actually off capping with his machine gun rather than trying to have that uh, move in and support his units in the middle. 
it's pretty risky. It's kind of easy for that to end up getting flanked. Yeah, but I mean, at this stage, I mean, there's not that many infantry, so you can quickly get out of there. Yeah, I think he's got a pretty good idea of where they all are as well. The rear echelon troops are taking a ton of damage from these grenadiers on the right, and they have to retreat. Uh, good idea. So the uh, rifleman just ran into the machine gun on the left and had to retreat. Uh, it's kind of like the, the minor cutoff for that side of the map, and uh, Fish is taking over the uh, the right side as well, so Gus is losing all of his munitions. To come. Right now he's getting himself a uh, the utility car, and that'll be popping in just a second. Where is that lieutenant? Just coming up across the bridge. So I thought that we might... Mm -hmm. Hold on. Ah, okay. He's building a... He's um, a tier 2 now, so he's building the... Uh, the second building now. Very good. I see that uh, Gus is getting himself. Um, oops, watch the fight. Gus is getting himself armored skirts and his uh, M20 right away. So that's a fair chunk of his munitions right there. But he hasn't gotten he hasn't gotten bars. He hasn't gotten grenades. I know most people tend to think bars kind of suck. So I don't think we're going to be seeing that. Without... Yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, that uh, people have been complaining about the bars. Oh, the uh, utility car is going to find this um, machine gun right now, and yeah, uh, Fish does the smart thing and just immediately retreats it. You know, no reason to lose that unnecessarily. It can do a tiny bit of damage, and actually with the, the incendiary rounds, that they one's pretty good. might have used uh, the armor-piercing rounds, though. Yeah, that machine gun's not that one yet, so we can't do that. Yeah. Flamethrower on those pioneers. I guess uh, he wants, you know, to make them useful. Oh my god, oh, no, 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 go no. down <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah, actually with the M20 out, that's maybe not the, uh, the best choice, um, because the M20 can lay those really, really nasty mines. Ooh, scout car with beautiful skin. Is that upgrading? Uh, right uh, now? Yeah. Good. That's going to be a real threat to the, uh, to the utility car. Although the uh, the crew can always jump out and use their bazooka. Yeah, I see the upgrade is complete. And now he's laying in some shots on the uh, lieutenant in the house, but it actually took a fair bit of damage uh, from the bar. And yeah, one away. third. Oh, some crazy uh, break uh, moves there. The utility car is placing a mine. And, oh, machine gun gets caught on the hop by the uh, pretty low health rifles, but they're going to chase that thing back to base again. Uh, ambulance is nearly done now for Gus, and looks like he's managed to retake the map quite convincingly and has got, uh, got fish stuck over on his side. Oh, these rifles, yeah, they retreat smartly. They probably... I mean, they're still at risk of going down. This uh, scout car's got a long ways yeah, that it can might, chase yeah. them. Uh, most likely they're gonna go down now. More interesting though is we've got uh, Fish trying to make a breakout attempt. Uh, the uh, utility car and the um, lieutenant in the house is gonna be really tough. He needs to get in close. It's just taking unnecessary damage over there. That infantry squad went down. Yes, uh, I see the body. Saw a body laying on the road. The uh, scout car looks like it's going to come back to help this uh, breakout attempt again. Hmm, two squads of pioneers from Fish. Maybe he just wants this one to uh, run around and use its flamethrower to get guys out of buildings. And, He's uh, building a pack. I see. Is he upgrading um, minesweepers on his other pioneer squad? Uh, no. Hmm, he really should. <laughs> uh, I would say uh, Gus he could use some mortar. Yeah, mortar would be nice. But, uh, has he picked a doctrine yet? No. Okay. I would say he could get a mortar half track, but that's such a big fuel investment that that's probably not something he's gonna want to do unless he starts seeing a lot of um, unless he starts seeing a lot of uh, to support weapons. Uh, support weapons. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Gus has gotten his ambulance, and he picked airborne, so I don't think he's going to be replacing that lost rifle squad. He'll probably just get himself some paratroopers once he feels like he needs them. And, and up in the left, uh, or in the north, um, there was a single uh, Grandier squad which is retreating now, so hmm. that area is being recaptured by the 
Americans. Um, Gus is going for a really early captain. Or excuse me, not captain, a major. It's only nine minutes, and he's got pretty good fuel income, so we could be seeing a uh, we could be seeing like an eleven minute uh, Sherman actually, which would be well, the pack pretty dangerous. Too good then. Yeah, especially but on a map like this, like, can be quite uh, restricted. Okay, so there are minesweepers out from fish. I'm be curious to see if he uses any uh, teller mines or anything like that. He's probably not expecting um, a major this quickly, though uh, Gus has been doing quite a lot of work with a really small army. Uh, <laughs> I'm wondering if mm. um, if Fish even has like a clear idea of how big um, of how big his opponent's army is. Oh, so utility car is in big trouble. Although if the uh, Whoa. looks like the uh, the 222 is going to avoid the mine if it tries to go forward. But uh, I see the utility car backing away, and I guess that Fish is predicting that there will be uh, M20 mines around, and there are at least two. Has he been upgrading? Uh, is he upgrading any um, LMGs on his Grenadiers? Not as far as I can see. Not as far as you can see. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Fish is carving himself out a bit of the map, and right now we've got a uh, a Scott building for um, for Gus. Hmm. He did just invested in something. It was just 500 manpower. So. Hmm. Ah, he's uh, okay. He's going up to three um, tier three. I see. And uh, as he does that, we have a uh, an AT gun getting airdropped from uh, from Gus. Something I learned the other day uh, is that if you have paratrooper squads, they can actually get bonuses from the lieutenant and from the captain. So just having a lieutenant alive and somewhere on the map gives a I think it's a 20% accuracy increase. To paratroopers, only paratroopers, not any other units. And hmm, uh, having okay. a captain alive gives them like 0 0.5 armor. But uh, captain is, I mean, one of the reasons for going, uh, one of the advantages of going, um, like going I airborne is that you don't have to get a captain. You can get AT guns by just airdropping them. So there are some paratroopers dropping in, the Scott is moving up, and there's an AT gun pointing off in the direction of the uh, 222, which is getting repaired. Oh, he's got a Hobbitzer uh, motor carriage. Yep. So that thing is uh, pretty beastly, although I think he got a bit of a tone down from uh, like fairly recently. I, I, I like that vehicle. It, it, I, I think it, it looks like a toy uh, uh, tank. Yeah, it does. Oh, very nice use of the M20 smoke. Uh, let's see if uh, if Gus. There's can no get mines his... there, right? No, there uh, aren't any. Although the 222 is backing right towards one, we can see that it has actually oh, been yeah, detected, yeah, yeah. and Fish is moving back, presumably to sweep that mine. How he sees it. And I think we're going to see a nice little engagement here between the uh, Scott shots doing uh, doing oh, some Fish damage. Fish is uh, yeah. Country. Oh yeah. But if he can fade back slowly, I think. Oh, yeah, get he just out. needs to retreat now. He's lost. He's lost quite a bit. He doesn't want to lose that pack. That would be devastating, especially now that he's going for tier three. So Gus has had him kind of locked up in this corner for a while, and uh, now he's going to be able to retake most of the map again. Uh, cut off fish from the, uh, the munitions on the right side, probably. So Fish, he has a mid bunk up now, and he's about to finish his uh, support armor corps. Very good. This, uh, oh man, this scout car really needs to be careful now and try to stay away from these uh, vet riflemen, since they're going to be able to, uh, you know, finish it off with a quick AT grenade. Mm. Oh, that grenadier squad up in the north. Gotta keep an eye out. Oh yeah, they're in. Uh, they're in trouble, they oh. shoot a rifle no, grenade, no, no. but uh, it flies uh. long. And they have to retreat back to base. Are they going to make it back? I think they probably will. Scout cars coming in to help them out, and some grenadiers get forced out of the middle of the map as well. Like 
So those riflemen up at the top are now getting uh, chased off by the scout car. Uh, I think they're gonna make it out once the uh, once the howitzer motor carriage pulls up. Cause it could pretty easily finish off the uh, 222 if uh, yeah. if fish keeps if fish is foolish enough to keep that thing still. Uh, he just needs to back it away and get some repairs on it. Quick look so, at the attack map. So he's getting decapped now, uh, uh, fish. So he's gonna get triple cap now. Yeah. Oh, here's that mortar you were talking about. So we've got one squad of yeah. paratroopers already from, uh, from Gus. He's getting himself a second squad right now. Can you tell me what's happening up at the top? I see some vehicles roaming yeah, around um, up there. Uh, the pioneers are uh, capping that point there, and uh, the scout car is just like s trying to scout around just to see uh, if that uh, utility car is nearby or the other hovitzer car is nearby carriage. But he's too damaged and he really should uh, repair that. Ooh, these pioneers are in danger of going down as a P4 comes up onto the map. Oh. Nice rifle grenade does a ton of damage to this uh, new paratrooper squad. But oh! Oh, <laughs> oh that nasty. That was a much bigger rifle grenade there. Yeah. <laughs> much bigger. <laughs> you could call it that. Whoa, P4. Yeah, the P4 nice. is up. And the uh, mines that were clogging up the middle of the map are now gone. And if he's careful, uh, he might be able to catch this Scott. But he's, I'm sure he's worried about there being more M20 mines. That M20 around for so, so long. Yeah. AT gun is getting set up. Uh, the, uh... Whoops. But the P4 gets behind the house before it's able to shoot at it. The Major is now getting shot at by the, uh... And the P4 in the rear echelon squad that was harassing the right side of the map. It's, yeah, it gets forced off by two squads of Renz. How many? Ooh. Pack hits the, uh. Yeah, it's... Hits the Scott. Oh, man. If anything pushes in now, that thing is, is dead. Do I have a question? Yeah, how many, uh, Grenadier squads does, um. Does two. Fish have? So, Just two. two. Okay. It feels yeah. like he's got more. Oh, we. Wait, yeah, he did, and then it got killed by the Scott. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean that to sound like I was trolling him. Oh. Ooh. So, do we still not have a commander pick yet from nope. uh, Fish? Let's see. He's just uh, unsure, I think, uh, what to go for. I mean, hmm. he doesn't have that much fuel, and um, I have... don't know, maybe Spearhead might go do some good, I mean, with the Panzer Tactician, so... Yeah, that could be really nice for uh, getting past his AT guns. Does he have um, assault support available to him? Uh, no, he doesn't. Ah, oh, it's too bad. But, the strafe I mean, could be really nice. Elite uh. troops could give him Panzer Tactician as well, and they, he could upgrade his... Um, Grandias. I mean, he has, still hasn't upgraded them with the uh, LMGs, but then again, he doesn't have much munition. He's at yeah. 15 now. Yeah, you really need the LMGs uh, to make the Grenadiers competitive with the Riflemen. But once the Grenadiers start getting up a couple levels of vet, then they do. Once they get vet 2, then they become really strong. Mm. Ooh. Oh, man. This one uh, Grenadier oh. squad just took a ton of damage, but didn't take any casualties. Very nice movement from a uh, German player. Man, he's just kind of like all over the map and uh, doing a great job of uh, keeping his tanks out of harm's way, making his opponents scramble all around. But uh, so we've now got the forward retreat point sent up from the Major. He's not doing any map harassment anymore. And there is a Jackson out as well. It's funny to look at the German player how he's playing because he's doing this pincer attack, looks like now. Ah, he went with the elite troops and so. Oof. Oh, he Ooh, got P4's the pack, in but... real danger. He needs to yeah. pop smoke and get out of there. And he doesn't have enough resources to do it. I don't think he's going to be able to make it back out through the smoke. That's dissipating. And the Jackson can easily just push forward on him. Where's the pack? It's totally on the wrong side of the map to contribute to this fight, but the Jackson isn't pushing forward. It's actually getting repaired up, and it looks like Gus is not going to try to uh, push up and, you know, put in the killing blows in any of those vehicles. Oh, 
he really could have. That Jackson push four, that'd be the end of that P4, and he'd be able to catch the, uh, yeah. the scout car as well. It's really kind of a miracle that the uh, scout car made it out of there. So, there's only seven CPs um, for Gus right now, and I imagine that Fish is in a similar situation. Ow, now he's got eight, shot. Uh, CP. Okay, so he's a long uh. way off from being able to afford a, a Tiger Ace. Yeah. Uh. Oh boy, I think the Scott had gotten a little bit over its head. We see a Panzerfaust, but... Oh! Oh, run away! Oh, Whoa! out of control! Man, just to get off on... <laughs> God, <is> not happy. <laughs> well, that he got... was... I mean, even through the smoke, I mean, wow, three bullseyes. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's very lucky <laughs> for, yeah. uh, for Fish. That he needed the break, and he got it right there, so let's see if he can use that. That was the real, uh, like, anti-infantry that... Um, that his opponent was relying on. Though now with these, uh, you know, squads of the paratroopers with their increased accuracy from the lieutenant around and their uh, LMGs, like they're really strong. Terminators. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Right. I think Fish oh, nice might need to there. pull back a little bit. He's got this low health machine gun. The pack is bet three. He wants to keep that alive. It's running back. Oh, base. nice motor hit there. Oh, I missed it. What? What did it kill? He killed three um, infantrymen. Very nice. Uh, and so he has to retreat now. Uh. Oh, MG's in trouble, and it is now retreating. It will probably take a couple of casualties on retreat. And the mortar is, has got five kills, and he decides to pull it back. P4 is starting to pull up on the left side. Uh oh, it's got a damaged engine. Now the Jackson's coming after. This could be uh, this could be the end. The Grenadiers need to rush forward, putting a Panzerfaust. Oh, nasty oh, yeah. hit. Uh, now it's like, do I pop smoke, or do I use a Panzerfaust, or do I do neither? Oh, Panzerfaust, as one guy gets run over, I think we've seen the end of this uh, P4. Pop ah, smoke, smoke, but, oh, very lucky, lucky the Jackson hits the ground right in front of it, and he needs to get this thing out of there. Where's the pack? The pack needs to come up and support. It's moving over in the direction of the Jackson. Uh, AT gun and riflemen are set up to protect, and it looks like, uh, wow, man, I can't believe Fish has kept this 222 alive for as long as he Yeah, has. I was kind of thinking the same thing. <laughs> we got that and the Pioneers pushing up on the middle, but, uh, he's facing quite a lot of firepower in the form of a new Scott and this, uh, his paratroopers, with the paratroopers... Uh, that's a new P4 out. Oh, Ooh, no, the, uh, flamethrower explodes. New P4, very nice. Nice effect, though. Yes, yeah. we haven't seen a whole lot of munitions upgrades from uh, Fish, I'm really surprised by that. No LMGs on the Grenadiers. He does have the uh, machine gun up on the top of his... Uh... He, he just hasn't had the munition Ow. to do all those upgrades. True. Oh, oh man, this Scott is banned for itself already. <laughs> and it could be in a bit of danger right now as uh, one of the people new P4 pulls up. You see that um, there's a Jackson coming up. Uh, a new Jackson being built by Gus, excuse me. Ooh, lots of infantry flooding into the middle of the map. Smart uh, smoke from Gus, and it's gonna save his M20. Oh, he's using the armor piercing rounds in the Jackson. Is he? Where is yeah, that? Yeah. that Jackson? Alright, it's up there. Oh, that two machine gun looked like it was using armor piercing rounds. Oh, is that what you're but saying? I, he was I, using the arm-piercing rounds to shoot Jackson. Yeah, uh, but I think he started when the utility car came in, to the, so it just kept on. But yeah. he now lost the MG, and he's going to oh. be taken now. Yeah. The lieutenant may take that. We might see the lieutenant recruit bug, which is always hilarious when that happens. Where you end up with the... Oh, it doesn't look like it happened. <laughs> Sometimes, actually, the, uh, the lieutenant, like the lieutenant man, will pick up the... Uh, the team weapon, and then you can end up with like a machine gun or a mortar completely crewed by lieutenants. <laughs> Makes them like totally unflankable because they do so much damage up close, but. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't, These P4s uh, getting a little too adventurous. What's he doing? Don't send in a half health uh, No, absolutely P4. not. Yeah, not when there's two jacks and an AT gun to shoot at it. Oh man, he needs to pull back. He just needs to get out of there. What are you doing? 
There's the pack to scare off one of the Jacksons. And I don't Good. see the infantry from Gus nearby, but they're just, you know, healing up over by... Oh, uh, the, the uh, 220 uh, just went down. Um, uh, not sure what hit it. It probably uh, ran it over a mine. No, no, I think it was the Jackson. Ah. I guess, yeah, it hit it from behind because the utility car went after the Grandiers up in the north and the, the um, 220 uh, came in for a flank. So. The Jackson's only got... Now Jackson's only got one infantry kill, so I think uh, I think that was it. Must hmm, must have, but it doesn't look like there was an explosion from a mine there. Hmm. So As you were we'll have to watch the replay again then. Yes, yes. That's a paratrooper squad from Gus that's just hanging out over on the right. I'm not sure. Die. Can you tell what he's <laughs> talking about? Die already. <laughs> Uh... Ah, he's got Panzer Green Deers now. Oh, they're not going to do too well against these uh, paratroopers unless this grenade oh. works. No, kind of a lucky but dodge the there. Is helping. Run away, PGs. You're expensive. Yeah, you, you got your die. level of veteran T, so be content wow, with that. Wow, they got that that fast. Ooh, nasty P4 shot. We may see this paratrooper squad go down and retreat. If the P4 pursues it, it does, oh, and nice. they do die. So. And uh, Grandia almost went down as well here on the uh, west. Yeah, I can see a very low health two man squad running back to base. So he's got uh, both of his grenadiers are double vet. I think, you know, he should maybe consider investing in some munitions upgrades for them. Whoa, all the tanks are right next to each other. They're on the fog of war. They can see each other now. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh, the pack. All the Battle AT guns Kursk. are moving up into position. This, yeah, mini Kursk right here. This one Jackson's in danger of going down. Looks like it probably will. Oh. Yes, it does. Yes. Can Gus get his... Or can Fish get his uh, tanks out of there without losing... Oh, man, they're both... Oh, really that's a nice shape. win there. Yeah, really good use of smoke there uh, as well. So those, uh, those tanks are going to be able to escape back to base, I think. So I see a lot of manpower and fuel float from from Fish. Uh, how far off is he from being able to get um, a Tiger Ace? Um, it's like at a quarter of a CP in his. Oh man! So getting f 15, but uh, yeah, he in oh, in 40 manpower he can get the Tiger Ace hmm. if he reaches 15 CP. Now that's gonna cut his. Uh, it's gonna really severely restrict his fuel income. So he's gonna want to get uh, and his manpower income as well. So he's gonna yeah. want to get these P4s back up into good shape and uh, you know keep them alive. Uh, one of them's almost a vet too, and he's had pretty uh, fantastic vehicle preservation, just unit preservation for the most part. I think mm. he lost one grenadier kind of unluckily <laughs> to a Scott shot and he lost the uh, the 222 but I mean it's really hard to keep a 222 alive for a long time and is this the tiger ace coming up now yes it is <laughs> so this should be like imperial march music oh keep going keep going uh, <laughs> or don't <laughs> i'm not going to i'm not going to add in some like commander <laughs> for yours that's no moon. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go adding in some licensed music into this cast. Don't need to get sued by George Lucas. No, 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 no. Disney. Or Disney, yeah. I think their lawyers are probably even more aggressive. I, I'm pretty sure George Lucas pretty much uh, doesn't care since he allows fan movies, so... Ah, uh, so the... Uh, one of the P4s has just moved up in the middle to a big hit. It looks like it's about to get hit by an AT grenade as well. It really... Just Get him out of there! Get him out of there, dude! Tiger uh, Ace is moving up into the middle. It's gonna take, uh... This may be the breakthrough unit that uh, Fish needs. He's down to below 100 BPs, so this is getting, uh... You know, pretty dire for him. Uh, Gus is in a very comfortable position. The pack did get cleared on the left side of the map. Oh, this one P4 is trying to take on the Jackson, but... Yeah, that, no, no, it was, that it never was work. aiming for the utility, but the Jackson was like, surprise, surprise! Now, if you can follow that up in the top, I'm gonna watch the uh, battle in the middle. Ooh, looks oh, like yeah. the P4 went down to the Jackson. 
that's really going to hurt. Um, that's That was kind of an irreplaceable unit, you know, while the uh, Tiger Ace is alive. And... Whoa, whoa, what hit the Tiger Ace that, uh, I mean, is that uh, half? Fucking everything oh. hit it. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a Jackson and an AT gun waiting for it in the middle of the map. So no, after no. it chased off some infantry on the right, it just got slapped around a bit by them and had to back away. So, you see that uh, Gus has gotten himself his, uh, Gus has picked up the pack, so that's going to help him fight the uh, Tiger Ace even more. And I think he's, mm, yeah, he took a bunch of damage on the uh, M20, but he's going to be able to repair that and also take the VP on the top at the same time. So, when you start nice capping with the uh, mortars, you, uh, you know you're kind of like uh, desperate. Or a sense. boss. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think in this case it's desperation. But yeah, the uh, mortar has allowed him to take back the munitions points on that side of the map. But, uh, what he really needs now is manpower. Uh, he's got a fair bit of fuel, but he just doesn't have the manpower to get anything. Um, he's only got the 113 income a minute. Like his army is smaller uh, than his opponents, but he has a you know a lower manpower income because of that tiger ace. Mm. And now that he's been pushed off the map pretty much, and the uh, M20 is still alive, yeah, M20 is still alive. He's uh, Gus has got two AT guns. He can lay down mines with the M20. And oh, this may be the end of it though. The uh, P4 is nearby to uh, close the deal. Oh, a rear shot. Yeah, and that Jackson hits like a truck. But it's so cool with the uh, armor skirts. Oh, nice. Finally went down that utility. Oh. More and here hits. comes the tiger. <laughs> Grenadiers just picked a bazooka, so they may be able nice. to uh, help the um, help out the tiger race, which is getting hit pretty badly. Here come the Grenadiers. They really need to be up there capping that VP at the same time. Rocket strike coming in on the uh, tiger race. It just needs to run, just get it back, pull it all the way back. You know, get it out of yeah, the uh, line of fire. He should be able to. I mean, come on, you can see the airplanes on the mini map. <laughs> yeah. I mean, smoke as well. Ooh, friendly Whoa. fire from the. Uh, I think that may have been the P 47 that killed the Jackson. Oh, Tiger Ace is in bad shape, but it manages to clear the AT gun, and he does have to worry about it going down to the, uh, the P 47. So, other than that, most of the AT has been cleared. Concentrate all fire on that super tiger ace. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went down. Uh, Alright, just the uh just the P4 left. Epic. Mm, I think Fish might disagree with that, but uh huh. we're gonna see the end of the P4 here as well. It does manage to dodge the uh, rocket strikes. Very nicely, in fact. I don't know if he's getting it between the buildings on purpose, but yeah, even the Scott can finish this thing off now. Good game, well played from Fish. You don't like that P47? <laughs> you know, I don't think it was the P47 that was causing him the, uh, you know, so much of the trouble. It was the Jacksons in the end, and earlier on, just not being able to get a good foothold and hold enough of the map to get all the uh, everything that he needed. I think he could have, if it wasn't for the P-47s, he could have uh, uh, turned it around because... Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, so... But yeah, it's just a combination. He, uh, I mean, Giga uh, he had a good combination of arms and then just focus in the middle and then like concentrated all his fire on, uh, on single units at a time. Yeah, and I have to say, like, Fish, man, his, uh, he was playing really, really well, but at the same time, so was Gus, um, like, their exactly. micro was fantastic, and the, uh, like, watching those tank battles, like, the close-range tank battles was, like, a joy to watch, and they were both just kind mm. of poking in and out, and getting in the hits, positioning the AT guns really well, and they each knew kind of when to pull back. Uh, we only saw, like, the only one kind of bad use of a vehicle, I think, was that uh, overly aggressive, um, the overly aggressive Scott that kind of rushed into the middle and got blown up, and, I mean, that, <laughs> that might have even been a misclick, yeah. not that that's But, I mean, the, those uh, three uh, pack shots, uh, I mean, it just was just like bullseye all the time, and even though he used the smoke, it wasn't enough. That's true. 
So yeah, that was uh. Love you, Chris. Yes, this was a game that um my God is an astronaut sent to me. I wrote to him a, a little while back asking if he had some good replays, and uh, so this is one. Once he once he gotten one, he was kind enough to oblige to oblige us. Yes. Um. Yeah, I think we're we're gonna have another another replay soon. Uh, with another Storm Tiger guy. I uh, really yep, looking yep. forward to watching that one. Do you got any got any more to say about this match? No, I mean I mean I just enjoyed those um, tank battles there, and it was like you said, um, yeah, you pretty much said it all, and it was a good fight. Yeah, it was. But, um, I feel like. Both players, especially, man, Gust was so aggressive, and it was just great at pushing Fish off the map again and again. And I mean, the thing when uh, Gus uh, took uh, that building near to Fish's uh, cutoff, um, Fish, if uh, if he had gotten a, a mortar early on instead of that pack, but the pack again came in handy when. Um, when the uh, the hobbit's uh, carriage came out, uh, the, that's true. I mean, the mortar could have like taken care of that um, squad in that side that building because he had held that building for for a good while, and he just held the uh, fish back. Yeah, I'm actually a little surprised that he didn't like you know once he had gotten himself a little bit of a foothold, just use the uh, the his flamer pyos to uh, attack move or attack ground destroy that building because you can't they will set those things on fire after a couple of uh, yeah, yeah after a couple bursts and then they become uninhabitable and then they collapse plus it's just nice for us to look at as well <laughs> but yeah man good play from both of these very good You're players going up against Luftwaffe ground forces whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't hear what you said oh uh, sorry uh, I mean it's always a good idea just to burn all the buildings in a map if you're going up against Luftwaffe ground uh, forces with the Falshima Jaegers. Oh yeah. No. A anytime they've got units that can pop out of buildings, just yeah. like get, uh, get yourself a flamethrower and burn all them bitches down. <laughs> 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 so I'm looking at all these destroyed vehicles and uh, the like minor cutoff from Gus and that eye candy. I think we'll sign out from this replay. So, yeah, if you like the replay, uh, I'll include a link to it. And you guys should head on over to coh2.org and on that. And uh, bye bye, everybody. Until next time.